Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Let's take a look in the scenario. We receive different files in one of our folder. Before we start our loading process, we have a requirement to send all the file names in the email to our team. So we will be using SSIS package for sure because we are going to learn SSIS, right? Uh, here are the things we are going to learn. We are going to learn how to create parameters for folder, path, email to, email from, and uh, maybe some other uh, uh, items. Those can change in different environments. So we change, we create the parameters or variables so we can use them in the configuration and we don't have to change our package according in different environments. We can change the value of those parameters or the variable by using the configuration as per uh, environment. Now we will be using the for each loop container and uh, we will loop in through the files from the folder. We will uh, learn how to use the read only variables and read write variables in script task. We will also learn how to concatenate the values in the script task to one of the variable and then finally we are going to learn how to send email by using a send mail task and we will write some expression on them so let's open ssdt here and before even we go to ssdt and create a new package i want to show you things so here i have a folder in this folder, I have three files. So I put those files with the different extensions. This is a um, Excel file. This is text file. And I can create a, a one more. Let me just create an empty file. I don't care the name. So let me, uh, let's say it's a bitmap. So I'm going to call this one is my image or something. So I will say my picture. So that's the name of uh, this file. So we have four files. What we want to do, we want to send the names of these files uh, in the email. We don't want to load it. We just want to send it. Maybe this is just information before the loading process start. Maybe we want to uh, really see uh, how many files are received in the folder and uh, different times we want to send those emails. Now let's go to the SSDT and uh, start working. Right click on uh, SSIS packages new SSIS package we can call this one email file names and if uh, you are using SSIS 2012 or 14 or even 16 uh, you have the option to create the parameters if you're using old versions uh, SSIS 2005 or 2008 you have uh, variables uh, in uh, the latest version such as 2000, uh, 2012 and later you still have the option if you are using project uh, sorry uh, package deployment in this case I'm using project deployment if you are using package uh, deployment model you will not have the parameters so you will be creating variables in this case we can create a parameter so let's create parameters here I'm going to call input folder This is going to be string and we are going to save the path of this uh, folder. We are all good here. Next uh, we want to use the uh, email to and email from. Email to. We want to send email to somebody, right? So that's going to be tech brothers. Sqlage at gmail.com and next uh, it should be coming from who so email from and in this case I'm going to use uh, one of my email amir sql edge at gmail.com so many emails huh on gmail so let's uh, go to control flow now and uh, the very first thing we need to do we need to read the file names so I'm going to use uh, the for each loop container and loop through the folder as we have saved the folder path in the parameter we will be using that one go to collection here we say for each item enumerator and <laughs> this always create trouble for me so for each item enumerator whatever you call that I don't care about that but anyways you are going to select a for each file enumerator so go ahead and select that one some English words are really hard to pronounce. So in the properties, we will select in directory. 
and here we'll be using input folder I was uh, debating about that okay enumerator and all that, that all that so at the end I was saying enum you know maybe that, that will make it easy anyways go ahead okay and now we want to read the file name and extension only we don't want to read the fully qualified path if you want to go ahead and read it doesn't matter so we are interested to read all those files different type of files so uh, this uh, asterisk on the right that tells us any extension and this asterisk on the left tells us any file name so i'm interested to read all different files so now go to the variable mapping let's create a variable that can hold the file name for us so we are going to call this one file name variable okay hit okay this is going to be string hit okay next part now this for each loop is going to loop through and get file name one after one but we are not saving anywhere this uh, file name variable will be overwritten on each of the iteration right so we need to create a variable that can hold the values for us uh, that can concatenate those values for us uh, and we can uh, use them in the send mail task so i'm going to call this one maybe we can call this one uh, file names instead of uh, file uh, maybe file names list that will be probably better so we, we, we this is a list right so we are going to concatenate uh, the file name on each of the iteration and put in this uh, variable so let's bring uh, the script task here inside the for each loop open it and uh, here read only variables so we are only reading a file name right that's all we need so i'm going to select the file name here and then next uh, where we want to write so we will be using file names a list this is what we are going to return at the end of the day so file names list just remember it and uh, we can copy this one actually so we don't have to make mistakes in the writing part edit script so at, at starting point if you see that right now this variable does not contain uh, anything so if i will say dts dot variables and here you have parenthesis user and then control v that will paste the name double quotes parenthesis dot value so this value is equal to what so we know the file name but next time when it's going to come this should include this part as well so I'm going to include is equal to this plus the value of the file name. First time this is going to be nothing. So uh, the file name will be just the first value. But next time uh, this is going to have the value and I will, uh, we will get uh, our file name as well. Let me close this part if that doesn't do anything. So we will have more space here. Control V and here we have file name just the file name so i'm going to chop this part out now we are good and uh, here we can save uh, we can tell like okay dot to string so we are making sure this is string and then uh, plus uh, dot to string as well so this is going to be string next part so think about that right now let me show you a few things first time let's say there is no value in this one and we got get abc file right so this will be written to this uh, abc next time when it is going to come uh, this abc and then we will have the next file name so that's maybe a uh, customer file so they will be in the same row we need to introduce something uh, like carriage return uh, or line break uh, or go down you know right on each of the line we want to go down so here in the c sharp uh, i think we can do plus uh, and then we can have double quote backslash uh, uh carry return i think so r we can use it then we can use n so let's see if that works here i need to use a plus sign right and then backslash r that will carry return and then backslash n that will be new line and double quotes and that's it so if we use this part now what happened first uh, name will be added 
then uh, next time the, this this is added at the end a new fi file name will come and that will be the next line so let's go and try this out so we have file names list here uh, I wanna go ahead and actually take a look right away and uh, what I want to do I'm going to print this um, in the message box before even I go ahead and uh, start working on the uh, mail uh, send mail task we want to make sure we are doing the right thing right okay so this is how we can print uh, the value so all right save it now we are not sending any email as of now that's fine so go ahead we can test this part if our queries or the code is working correct and concatenating and introducing uh, so we have customer next time see it came to the next line that's what I wanted so each time it should be bringing the to the next line that's a great because we want to have formatted uh, list we can add one two three as well we can um, you know if you are interested to add numbers you can go ahead and maybe start with one and then the next time plus uh, one and all those kind of thing you can do now we are good here and uh, I want to send send mail task here so once uh, the values are concatenated we will be sending a may email let's go to the mail and here we have to create s the MTP connection a new connection and uh, my SMTP server name is the TBS client tech brothers client and uh, we will be using Windows authentication hit OK now we will be doing uh, some uh, expressions here the from part and to part will be going to expression and using those uh, parameters so in the from line let's find from line and here we will be using from email from that's what uh, we are go going to use next uh, we have two line so press T it will bring this one and now you have uh, email two. looks good next part uh, we will be building uh, the subject so in the subject line if you press s couple of times the subject will be there and here we can build our subject um, in the subject there are there could be multiple things we can do we can have maybe a package name environment name okay this package completed in this environment so in this case let's say if I want to use the system variable I can use it and here I'm going to use a package parameter as package name so this package see email from and I'm going to say plus sign double quotes and say package completed successfully in and I can go ahead and if there, uh, there is a variable I have or a parameter I have that value change from the configuration I can go ahead and change that so I will say in prod or uh, in dev or QA so the, by doing it we would know that in which environment this uh, package is running or executing so in 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 this case I don't have the variable so I'm gonna just go ahead and put the prod fine this is good the last part we want to do we will be doing uh, the message source so message source is the body of your email and uh, here we will be using that uh, variable remember we created a list of uh, the file names so that's what we are going to use first of all you're gonna put double quotes and say hi team or anybody I don't know where you are sending this list so and then you say enter and they say please find the list of file names in the input folder or whatever you maybe you want to give some specific folder name and then you say plus sign then you are gonna sorry double quotes plus sign and then here you are gonna introduce the variable now if you evaluate it you will see some values there isn't really value in saved in this one so this is the last line we are seen and then we are gonna go ahead plus sign double quotes enter and say thank you and say tech brothers you can put the double quotes at the end that's where we started the string and then we have to end the string with double quotes so, so looks good I don't like this part though here if you see this is really complicated you can't really 
uh, there is not enough space to see the things though. so it will be much better if there would be more space here you know or we can scroll up or down whatever hit okay now we are good everything is done and uh, as of now we don't see anything but uh, do those values will be coming when package will run hit okay now we can go ahead and uh, I, I will go ahead and disable that part where we were creating or uh, popping up that message because uh, otherwise it's gonna come four times uh, for each of the file so each time it will read the file name and concatenate it is gonna pop up and we have four files so we will have four times now cancel this out sorry close that let's go ahead and run the package we already have wasted a lot of time here okay I'm just kidding we have learned a lot of things actually so close uh, this stop your package not close I'm not closing it go to the email and I'm waiting for the email and uh, we got this email that's great and the uh, email file names package completed successfully in Prada so let's see if uh, the file names did came in the list uh, and uh, you can see that the file names came and but uh, one thing happened this uh, file name became the part of uh, this uh, uh, message what we wrote so we can go ahead and fix that right so let's go back and fix it now we are gonna go here go to expressions let's see message source and then uh, here we have even uh, plus sign and then now uh, we use the variable we can use uh, uh, actually hmm, let me see what happened here um, there are a couple ways we can do it we can put uh, double quotes here enter double quotes uh, and then plus sign here that that's one way to go ahead or uh, we can use uh, if there is a backslash n I believe that will also work so if you have that one it should work just fine so uh, here you can put uh, anywhere uh, in the let me take this part now we are just concatenating the variable right and uh, here we can put backslash n and see that would see it did not appear here right after the folder so actually n means go to next line hit ok hit ok run the package it worked great now the last thing we need to check uh, the email so we got the email and in this time sorry here this time uh, the file name did came uh, uh, one after one in the line so that's how you can build uh, an email and uh, send all those file names from the folder to the team and uh, thanks very much for watching this video and uh, I will see you guys in the next video uh, one last thing I would like to tell you guys we have we are in process of changing uh, the blogs part name we are going to take consider one name and it's going to be tech brothers IT and uh, that's going to be the website address that's going to be YouTube channel uh, name and everything because we are kind of uh, all over with SQL age and tech brother and uh, we started with SQL age but now we are considering making it one thing uh, and uh, th that's how we are gonna keep it up with the single domain so but you will uh, still you will be able to use SQL dot blogspot.com uh, this uh, te te tech brothers IT dot com is on top of that so it the both things work as it is uh, so nothing to worry about but uh, one thing is just want to give you introduction like okay we are considering a new name for our product techbrothersit.com so uh, thank you very much good luck see you next